Avon Park, Florida, a place for sunshine, oranges, and hostage situations? Sadly, yes. Cheryl Treadway found herself living a nightmare. Her boyfriend, Ethan Nickerson, was the source. He was volatile and unpredictable. Cheryl had known Ethan for years. They had a family, but love had curdled into something toxic. Ethan's temper was a short fuse. Today, that fuse was lit. He paced their home, a caged animal. Cheryl felt fear, cold and sharp. This was beyond an argument. This was captivity. Ethan's anger was a physical thing. It filled the room, choking Cheryl with dread. He yelled, accusations flying like poisoned darts. Ethan's control extended beyond words. He'd taken Cheryl's phone. Isolation, his weapon of choice. No way to call for help. No way to escape his rage. Cheryl felt utterly alone, trapped in a prison of her own home. She had to get out for her sake and for her children's. Cheryl's mind raced, searching for a lifeline. Then she saw it. Her phone. Useless, Ethan thought, but there was one app he'd overlooked. Pizza Hut, a simple app used for ordering takeout. Could it be her salvation? Ethan watched her every move, his suspicion a living thing. Cheryl had to be careful, her every action measured, controlled. Ethan's paranoia was a palpable force. He hovered nearby, a knife glinting menacingly in his hand. Treadway tried to leave to pick up the children from school, but he would not let her said authorities said. He accompanied her to school instead. When they returned, she begged Ethan to let her order pizza for children. Ordering pizza, a mundane act turned life or death gamble. Ethan's eyes followed her every move. Cheryl knew she couldn't be obvious. She had to disguise her plea for help as a simple craving for pizza, as the kids were hungry and need some food to eat. A pepperoni pizza, extra cheese, a normal order on the surface, but within that order Cheryl hid a desperate message. In the special instructions box she typed, please help, her finger shaking, get 911 to me. A simple message, but one that carried the weight of her life and her children's lives. She hit send, her heart pounding in her chest. The order went through, now the waiting game. Would the Pizza Hut staff understand her message? Would they dismiss it as a prank? Every second ticked by like an eternity. Cheryl tried to maintain a facade of normalcy, praying that her message would reach the right eyes. Miles away at the local Pizza Hut, an order popped up. Pepperoni, extra cheese, routine. But then the staff saw the special instructions. Please help, get 911 to me. A chill ran down their spines. This was no joke. This was a cry for help. The manager didn't hesitate. They called 911, relaying Cheryl's message and address. Every detail mattered. Every second counted. The police dispatcher recognized the urgency in their voice. This was no ordinary pizza delivery. This was a rescue mission. Sirens wailed, piercing the air and breaking the tense silence of the Avon Park neighborhood. Police cars screeched to a halt outside Cheryl's home. The officers knew they had no time to lose. The Highlands County Sheriffs were informed. They had received the alert from Pizza Hut regarding the situation, an unusual but effective way to call for help. The message was clear. A woman and her children were in danger. Inside the house, Cheryl and her children were in a perilous situation, their lives hanging in the balance. The police had to act fast to prevent a tragedy. The officers quickly formulated a plan, knowing that every second counted. The pressure was immense. The officers had to remain calm and composed. One wrong move could lead to disaster. From inside the house, Cheryl saw the cops coming in. Hope surged through her, battling with the ever-present fear. She clung to the thought that help was on the way, even as her heart raced. Ethan, alerted by the commotion, grew agitated. His mind raced with thoughts of escape and confrontation. He gripped the knife tighter, his eyes darting towards the door. Every sound, every movement outside heightened his anxiety. He knew the police were here. The realization hit him like a tidal wave, pushing him further into a corner. They're here! The words echoed in the room, a stark declaration of the inevitable. After some resistance, they tried to reason with him to de-escalate the situation. They knew that one wrong move could turn the standoff deadly. Cheryl and her children were their priority. Their voices remained calm, controlled, even as the tension crackled in the air. Every word was measured, every action deliberate. Cheryl's heart pounded as she listened, her hope mingling with dread. 
She prayed for a peaceful resolution for her children's sake. Inside, Ethan's face was a mask of conflict and fear. He was trapped, not just by the police, but by his own turmoil. After what felt like an eternity, Ethan relented. He surrendered to the police, the knife clattering to the floor. The tension that had gripped the room dissipated in an instant, replaced by a heavy silence. The officers moved in swiftly, securing Ethan and ensuring that the threat was neutralized. It was a moment that seemed to stretch on forever, yet it was over in the blink of an eye. Relief washed over Cheryl. She was safe. Her children were safe. The nightmare was finally over. The fear that had gripped them for so long was finally releasing its hold. She looked into the eyes of her children, seeing the same relief and hope reflected back at her. They were safe, and that was all that mattered. The police escorted Cheryl and her children. The police officers, ever vigilant, ensured their safety as they guided them to a waiting vehicle. Cheryl felt a sense of gratitude towards these brave men and women who had risked their lives to save hers. Nickerson is facing charges like aggravated assault with a weapon, battery, kidnapping and obstruction of justice. Cheryl Treadway's story is a testament to the power of quick thinking and courage in the face of danger. Her story is a reminder that even in our darkest moments, hope can be found in the most unexpected places. Even a simple pizza app can become a lifeline. Cheryl's story serves as an inspiration to us all. It teaches us to be vigilant, to be resourceful, and to never give up hope, even when faced with seemingly insurmountable odds. Her courage saved her life and her children's lives, proving that even in the face of fear, the human spirit can triumph.